Welcome to Thumbnail Thursdays, where we talk about graphics, photography, and videography. Today, I have a special tool called the Color Checker by X-Rite. This tool is used to calibrate your colors and make sure that they are clear and perfect matching the original natural colors. So, let's find out how this works right after this break. Today I'm talking about the color calibration or the color checker by x -Rite. It's a very great tool, a little bit difficult to open and to be honest almost feels like it will break. Just hope it doesn't. There it is. No, it did not break. It's very tricky the way you open it. I wish it was smoother. Basically this is used uh, in this manner. You hold it close to your subject. Uh, close to the skin tone and then um, what you do is you take a photo, a raw format and then you use Lightroom raw software to uh, change the color mode uh, from the Adobe standard into one that you create based on the x uh, calibrated colors. The x comes with a CD, it's a software that you need to install on your computer. I wish that uh, x -Rite would actually uh, move away from uh, delivering it through CD format and actually just provide uh, the buyer with a link uh, after they register their software. Maybe they can just simply download the software to their computer. It's more uh, advanced way rather than using a CD. Most people don't have CDs anymore, so keep that in mind, x -Rite. And also update your software. It has been a while since that software has been updated and it would really need to be a little bit um, adjusted. So now that we have everything set up, all the software and the plugins that we need, I just opened up uh, the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic and let's start using it uh, using the color checker through the Lightroom. First of all, I need to create that profile file and I do this by selecting the picture that I want it to be based off the target. Now the first step is to start your initial point which is by doing the white balance. You can pick one of these three here, I like to pick the one, the second here, and that has already fixed the yellowish uh, portion of, of my uh, photo. Now this is where it gets uh, to the point where we click on File, Export, and then right here you see the X-Rite presets, Color Checker, Passport. This is where you type a name for your DNG file, and a DNG is a format for your profile names or for profile files that you use. Um, so what I like to do is do a combination of the camera name, I'm using the LX100, the Lumix by Panasonic, and then you could have also the uh, name of the lens because you might want to create different profiles uh, where you're using different cameras with different lenses. So it's a good way to do it, but this uh, LX100 camera comes in with a, a built-in lens, so there's no point in, in here to mention the lens. The next portion of the name could be something like the light situation or the light conditions that you are filming in. In this case, it's my studio lights, so I'm just going to say studio light. And that's about it. And I say export. It's going to take uh, a minute or maybe a few, like uh, maybe a couple of seconds. And then, because this is a large file, and then once this is done, we can actually, or we need to, close our uh, Lightroom. It, it, it requires us to restart. So I'm going to close Lightroom and then start it again. Okay, back to the same photo. We, we need now to apply that preset. So in the past, the uh, profiles that we had, the colored profiles, uh, used to live in the calibration area. 
uh, right here somewhere. And starting April 2018, you probably know or don't know, the color um, profile has been moved to the basic tab right here. And remember, we are inside of the develop module. So in case you are in Lightroom, make sure you click on develop and then go to the basic and right towards the top here, this is the default uh, profile, which is the Adobe color. So what we need is to pick the one that we just created. And unfortunately, it does not appear right now here, so I need to browse for it. And there it is. Under Profiles, I see that it is right here. The LX100 um, Studio Light. So I just double click it. And my photo has been enhanced. Of course, if you want me to zoom in slightly so you can have a look at it. Let's go here. This is after enhancement and this is the one that is a little bit not too strong. This is the basic uh, Adobe color. Let me go back again and double click on it and apply these colors. Perfect. One thing to note, by the way, uh, regarding this target, this is the main target that actually is used by Color Checker to apply those colors and create the profile. This one, this card is essentially called the enhancement card and it's really used to uh, cool or warm up the colors uh, slightly here and there. So that's something to keep in mind. And also you've got the rainbow uh, spectrum of colors right here. Actually, this should have been held in the other way, but that's fine. So what happens when we have a photo that is uh, shot in a completely different lighting condition? So this one doesn't have the uh, proper studio lights, but rather have a regular uh, lamp, which is a little bit yellowish. So here's the rule. You need to apply or create a different uh, profile uh, for such situations. So here we go. We're going to do that right now. Go ahead and select your white balance and click on it here. Now the photo has been enhanced, but this is only the starting point so that color checker can do its magic. How do we do the magic? One more time. We go to file, export, go here and create another profile, a DNG profile. This time, I'm gonna do the same camera name, but then I'm gonna say Lamplight. And, and say Export. Unfortunately, every time you create a new uh, profile, color profile, you need to restart Lightroom because Lightroom is not listening for these changes in real time. Uh, however, if you use Camera Raw, the Adobe Camera Raw, the changes are immediate, so you don't really need to restart. Let's go ahead and restart our Lightroom. All right, one more time. I go right here to Browse. And now I see my studio light right here. There it is. It's a little bit warmer and I'm not sure if doing the, there you go, doing the white balance does enhance it and make it clo look as close as uh, as in the other lighting condition. Remember, this is never going to be the same. Uh, and the reason is uh, the light uh, strength that is used is completely different. So the camera wouldn't have even captured some of the uh, the colors uh, when, when the normal uh, lamp was on versus the proper, uh, the proper studio lights. However, this will be a great example when you are filming using, uh, for example, different cameras, but the lighting conditions is extremely similar or exactly the same. For example, if you are at a wedding and you have multiple cameras uh, and people shooting with different uh, lenses as well, that's where you need to create different profile and use the color checker technique to create those different uh, color profiles and then 
all of your photos would match the exact way. Now this was shot in the uh, studio lights so what I need to do is to sync it with the uh, first example or the first profile. So what I normally do is I select the one that has the uh, studio light profile uh, applied to it and then I select the the one that I need to fix and then I would say sync and this is where I select the white balance and process version and then calibration at the very least and then synchronize and this will make sure that these two photos are of the exact same nature. Now that we learned how to do uh, the profile, how to create it and how to apply it inside of Lightroom, let's look at it from a different route. We want to do it this time using the color checker application which we have uh, installed on our computers. This is the native program which color checker gives us. So in order to use this software, we need to create a DNG file. And a DNG file is nothing that difficult. It's something you can actually create inside of Photoshop itself. So what I'm going to do is, starting point is here, I'm going to select my uh, image, which I want to use as the base for this profile, the one with the, uh, with the color checker uh, uh, target in it so let me click on this and then this is going to open up our camera raw because it's a raw file as you can see we are inside of camera raw right now so the layout is slightly different than uh, Lightroom of course and I hope you know both of them if not then let me guide you quickly this is where you do the white balance again the same thing we go right here and we uh, adjust the white balance for this picture. This is pretty much it. But we have to do next is to save the image. And when you click on save image, you get this uh, pop-up, which by default is uh, with the file extension of a DNG. And actually, this is where you can tell where it's saving our files. So let's see. I'm going to uh, just simply click on uh, save and then my file should be created let me look at my folder structure there it is you can see that the DNG file has a, a slight thumbnail that you can actually use so let me minimize this move it on the side and then let me go to uh, to my color checker because I can easily drag the file in here and then let the magic happen all right so one more time this is how uh, the color checker actually recognizes your target and is going to use all this data to match it with whatever database it has about the different cameras and that's how your colors and your profile color gets created. So here you go. As you can tell, this is my original picture and the uh, the color checker passport can actually detect this area. Now just in case, for some reason, uh, these are not really matching inside the boxes. You can, uh, you can adjust them slightly here and there. You can use this, uh, these handles here, these handlers here to uh, be more precise. For example, if there was a little bit of shadow casted over some of the areas. Once you are completely satisfied with this uh, step, you can click on Create Profile and there you go. You can literally see where that uh, profile file gets created, the camera profile file. And of course, this is where the other ones were created, the ones that were created through uh, Lightroom. So if you want to create uh, one this way, uh, you can just simply hit save. And what I like about this is it actually detects the camera and the model number and everything. All you really need to do is append the uh, the lighting conditions. So this was taken in a studio light, so I'm gonna say studio light and save it. 
And once it's done, it says it's created. I can actually close this and go back to my camera raw. And guess what? Just like magic, I am going to expect that my profile is already created here. Let's go into profiles. Perfect. As you can see, this is the one that I just created through uh, Camera Raw and through uh, the uh, DNG creator of Color Checker. So you can see it's right here. I can double click on it and then the, uh, the colors are now matching with the profile that we just created. Now from this point onwards, if you hit done, your settings will be saved. So let's say I hit done and then my settings should be saved. Next time when I open up my image, let's open it again inside of uh, Photoshop, which means that it's going to be opening up uh, automatically inside of Camera Raw since it's a raw file. As you can see, all my settings have been applied because it got saved as part of this file right here. Now, anything that happens afterwards, let's say if I click on Open Image, remember, now I'm in a completely different mode. Now I'm inside of Photoshop where um, it's completely a uh, rendered image. So we want to be able to apply any of the raw capabilities anymore or any of the profiles anymore. So this is it. Uh, this is how you get from your uh, native DNG uh, application. You create your profiles uh, using the color checker uh, application. Now there's one more thing that I want to uh, talk about which is a cool application by Xrite. It's called the DNG Profile Manager and it's pretty simple. Um, it basically allows you to manage your uh, profile files seamlessly in one location. So if you open it up, it will show you all the different uh, profile photos, DNG files that you have on this computer. So you can enable or disable some of them. Let's say uh, now that we've created this Panasonic, which is really the same thing as the Studio Light, I don't really need to uh, see it in my profiles so I can just disable it like this and close and next time I open up my uh, camera raw for example you can see here that it's complaining that this profile is not installed of course because we have turned it off so one thing I could actually do is go back here and go to my profiles and select the other one the one that we created earlier using the um, uh, using the uh, Adobe uh, Lightroom, so I can do that too. And this is pretty much it for uh, creating uh, DNG profile files, whether it's using Lightroom or using the Adobe Camera Raw and the native application by Color Checker and Xrite. Uh, other than this. Back to this X checker, color checker. It's a great uh, tool. I suggest that you buy it. For photographers, this is the way to go. It's called the um, color checker passport. And for videographers, there is another version specifically for video, which is around 150 bucks. Might be worth it, uh, especially if you are doing extensive video and photography uh, footage. So until a new video with me, Danny, right here, Thumbnail Thursday, we talk graphics. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget, like my videos. Until a new video with me, take care.